the show that I'm in here is a Pacific Standard Time show, which uh, features artists that the show was sponsored by the Getty, and it's to feature and show the work of artists from 1945 to the early 80s. And I was very active in the art scene in Los Angeles as an art writer and exhibited my work a lot in the 70s and early 80s. So um, these are two pieces of mine. And it's interesting because this is Jack Riley, who I didn't know was in the show, and he was my neighbor at that time. He was my, actually in the same building with me, next door to me. Another artist in the show is Simone Gad that I've known since the 70s. So it's really exciting, and it's a citywide exhibit, and different venues got grants from the Getty Museum to do the show. So it's really wonderful. I'm very honored to be in the show. It's here at the Bleicher Gallery on La Brea. Uh, very nice people, They're curated by Allison Moore. Aren't you going to introduce me? Okay, well, this is my dear friend Simone Gad who is a wonderful artist. We have been friends for so long. We used to go to New York together. In the 70s. In the 70s, yeah. And she has a wonderful piece in the show um, that, can you go over there and see that? Uh, one of my food dog paintings from a series that I've been working on um, about, there are the myth mythological gatekeepers of Chinese architecture and the food dogs are all over Asia like in Cambodia, Thailand, Japan, Chinatown, Los Angeles. <laughs> so it's an homage and because um, I really love you know I've always loved mythical animals. It's beautiful. It's oh, beautiful. Thank you. And do you have others in a series then? Yes, I do. Yeah, it's part of a larger series. I have two in the back here also. Why don't you stand over here by this? Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. So So tell me a little bit about the other pieces that you, that you have in the, your other works. Well, I'm a collage maker and I make self-portraits with pin-up collages. And um, the food dog paintings, I, I also love architecture, and I've made series of Chinatown buildings and Victorians, because I, I love Los Angeles history and European. And um, so I, I'm a documenter of them in my own way of working. It's a lot of buildings have disappeared, the old ones. And so that's my way of preserving that's by wonderful. making, you know, thank you so that's much. That's wonderful. Thanks. Well, thank you. We went to Otis together. Yes, we did. In the 60s. Oh my gosh, when I was a total space cadet hippie. You don't yeah. have to put that in there. Or maybe it's <laughs> now that I'm so like, you know. But uh, we were friends then and uh, stayed painting all these years, which is just in itself is pretty amazing. So do you want to talk a little bit about this is your piece here? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the intersection. Oh, thanks. This is Intersection. It's about the crazy freeway system we have here. <laughs> and when I drive, I have this fantastic view of all these different freeways that you have a choice of. And sometimes you miss the one you want and you get lost. And that's sort of the panic feeling that you get when you miss the, the freeway that you you're supposed to turn on and you often see cars go from the far left lane all the way to the off ramp because they miss the current uh, freeway destination they wanted to go on. So. so this one's called Marine Slick and it's about oil and water and how they don't mix. I've done it with a lot of color to show the passion I feel about how oil companies are greedy and don't, aren't careful about the environment. And it's sort of like artists are the uh, canary in the coal mine, warning the public about the dangers of the environment. So I often predict things that are going to happen, for instance. I've often predicted earthquakes. When I do my Earth Slide series, I, I have often uh, uh, got into sort of the, the rhythm of the universe and been able to.
to predict things that are going to happen. And I once uh, told my dealer once that I was going to do the big one. I was going to stress a huge canvas, and she said, "No, no, no! Don't do it! Don't, don't do it!" Because <laughs> we don't we don't want the big one to ruin LA and our team. It was so vibrant, and it was sort of new and happening. Oh, I mean, I remember when we went out to eat, I told you, I reminded you how we went to New York together, because I was in a show at Monique Milton, the new talent show, uh -huh. and then we went to the, the Picasso retrospective at MoMA. We saw it twice for free, and then we, um, we took the bus, no, we took a taxi to, to the opening, but then it, the taxi was going too slow and it was pouring rain and we arrived and we looked like drowned rabbits. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we would have so much fun going to New York together.